Number 13 then from the 2013 Advanced Tire, Graphs Question. Short question, but still five marks for it, with no calculations whatsoever. It's a very visual question. The first part says, sketch the graph of the inverse function of this. If this is the graph of y equals f of x, what will the graph of the inverse of f of x look like? Well, the inverse simply it means turning your answers into your inputs, interchanging the axis. So very simply, if that's the original graph, then making the y-axis into the x-axis and vice versa will form the inverse. You'll now be starting with the answers and trying to find the numbers you put in. Another way of showing that would be to put the line y equals negative, so y equals x into it, because the axes would reflect onto each other across the line y equals x. So for the inverse, for the first part, for two marks, I'll draw my axis. The inverse means I would interchange my axis. So if it cut at 2 on the x-axis, it'll now cut at 2 on the y-axis. Of course, that'll have to be 0, 2. If it cut at c on the y-axis, it's now going to have to cut at c on the x-axis. Of course, that'll now be c0. There's the graph of the inverse. In part B, state the value of k, and that's it just for one mark state, state the value of k for which f of x plus k is odd, or rather I said is an odd function. Well, f of x plus k simply means you take this graph, y equals f of x, and move it up or down by a certain amount. That amount k is acting after the evaluation, it's an addition to the answers. Well, to be an odd function, you have to produce the same answers on either side of the origin, only one negative and one positive. When you're down, you're down, when you're up, you're up, and vice versa. And that's not happening here, I'd have to bring that line down to the origin. There's actually two ways I could go to the origin, I could come back or I could go down. Effectively, they're going to produce the same thing, but in this case, since it's specifically saying the vertical component, I want to drop it down. If I drop that line down until it passes through the origin, then I've achieved an odd function, because for whatever value of x I take on this side, I'll get a certain answer, and if I take the corresponding value of x on the opposite side, I'll get the same answer but with the opposite sign. So that will happen when I drop it down by the amount c. So for this part, f of x plus k is odd means that k would have to be negative c since it's dropping down c. Now in part C, find the value of H, but this time it's two marks, but it seems to be essentially the same as B. Find the value of H for which this is an even function. Now an even function means you get the same answers on both sides. For whatever distance you go along for X, whatever height you reach, it must be the same on the opposite side. Now that's obviously not happening here on either side of the origin. You'd have to shift that line back again. Essentially, you're going to end up with the same line. You shift that line back, there was two ways to arrive at the same point, because they should be parallel. If I leave it like that, it's odd. You can turn it even by applying the modulus, because what will happen then is, you move your line back, yeah, so it's going back by the amount 2, you have to go 2 back to reach it. If the change has to take place this way, notice it's taking place inside of the function before the evaluation. So a plus 2 is what's going to move it back. And then apply the modulus and these negative parts here will go up and that's an even function because for any particular distance x on one side I get a certain answer. The same distance the other side for negative x I still get the same answer. So f of x is even when h equals 2. Not negative, it's an x, not negative 2, it's an x plus a 2 that moves it back. And the only other thing I could do, I suppose, to try and justify this being two marks as opposed to just one mark, is to add to that by saying, when h is 2, the graph passes through the origin, and the modulus creates the same values on either side. Maybe it was just for h equals 2, I can't really tell. Or maybe these extra diagrams, these annotations here, might help a bit.